Well, hello there. I'm Muffin the Maine Coon. As you may know, I recently moved into my forever home. My adoptive parents prepared for my arrival by setting aside a number of toys for me to play with. I may have also found a few options that they missed. Today I wanted to show you some of these, and I'll also let you know what I think of them. One of the first toys Mom and Dad introduced me to was this colorful wand toy. You may have seen it in the last episode. It makes a lovely rustling noise and it's very good at keeping my attention. In fact, I love it so much that I may have gotten carried away a little bit at times. Let's just say it doesn't quite look like it did out of the box. And no, I do not want to talk about it. Maybe I just loved the toy so much because it was the toy that helped me discover the game of fetish. Mom and Dad get so excited when I do this, and I enjoy the opportunity to run around the house. This one, yeah, this one gets a solid 7 out of 10 from me. Speaking of a game of fetch, let me show you my fish. That's at least what Mom and Dad call it. I think it's a mouse, but not everyone can have the advanced senses of a top predator, so I can understand they get a little confused. This toy is really good for a little bit of everything happy to play with it on my own, but it also works great for a game of fetch. I have two of these, and I have figured out that they can be used to entertain my parents as well. I hide these around the house, and then I watch my parents try to find them when it's playtime. So much fun. This one's an excellent 8 out of 10, especially because it keeps my parents busy as well. Next up is a totally underrated toy, the Humble Pencil. I could play with these funny sticks forever, but I enjoy one most when my human is playing with it as well. In fact, it seems like they love this toy so much that they never want to share it with me. Even though they don't always approve, I constantly try to show them new games that they could play with this excellent toy. The pencil, eh, it gets a 6 out of 10. That's mostly because it's so jealously guarded by my humans. Now we're back to a more classic toy, with a twist. Um, or should I say not? Mom and Dad got this one toy with three different attachments. My favorite one is the one that looks like a ferret tail. As soon as I saw that one, all the others just couldn't compare. I love hunting this toy as my parents swing it around and when I catch it, I proudly carry my kill off in order to make sure it's properly dead. My parents generally use this to their advantage and steal the toy back from me after which we start the whole game over. If my parents aren't around, I'm also happy to chew on this toy on my own, but I don't often get the chance as I've been known to tangle myself in the line. This is actually the reason the toy looks a little strange. There might be a few knots in the toy that weren't always there. Eh, minor details, right? It's still one of my favorite toys. It, it gets a really excellent 8 out of 10 from me. And finally, there's a toy that Dad always seems to carry around with him. I'm not sure why he thinks his face is a great place to keep it, but it definitely makes it an interesting challenge to get at. Whenever I can manage to get in range, I use the opportunity to get a hold of this toy. I try to be very gentle, as I know Dad's eyes are close, so you don't need to worry about him. This toy adds a 7 out of 10 for me. It, it would score higher if I could play with it more often. As you can see, I've managed to find quite a few toys in the short time in my new home already, and the list just keeps growing. I'm sure I'll have more than enough to make another video soon. If you'd like to see more, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next adventure. Now, now I'm going to get some rest. All that playing to make this video was really hard work.